In the summer of 1981, the Marotra family were living in south-west London. On July the 29th, Vishen Barr took his family to see the wedding of Charles and Diana. They watched as the couple rode in their carriage to St Paul's Cathedral. Mr Marotra decided to leave his children with the nanny, who took them for a coffee. The nanny of the boys took them for buying some coffee medicine, and I went home. Unfortunately, later on, uh, we realized there were some street parties going on, so that uh, uh, he was not to be found. And the next day, we, well, he complained to the police, and the police started investigating. Nine-year-old Vishal had vanished, last seen in barns near the common. The Met Police launched a missing person investigation, sparking a huge search. But it wasn't until the following February that Vishal was found, his torso discovered in woodland in West Sussex. No trace of his legs, pelvis or lower spine. And obviously it was extremely, extremely traumatic. Police in Sussex launched a murder investigation. It remains unsolved. While the search for Vishal was going on, police were at the family home when Vishambar received a call from a man who gave him information about guest houses, one less than a mile from where Vishal was taken, from where high-profile paedophiles were alleged to be operating. People in high places uh, having paedophiles, he mentioned about bounds and uh, bounds common in particular, and uh, he was uh, talking about the judges being involved and politicians being involved and there was a huge cover-up. The police were present as Vishambar took the call and made a recording of it. When they heard the whole tape, it was about 10, 12, 15 minutes, I don't remember exactly. Then they asked me and I copied it and I gave it to them. But then they seemed to be of the opinion that it was a grand call and nothing important. The trail went cold. Mr. Marocha says he hasn't been contacted by police for a decade or so. Sussex Police has reviewed their investigation more than once in the last 15 years, but with no new developments. But last week a man came forward alleging he saw a Conservative MP murder at least one boy during a sex party in which he was also a victim of child sexual abuse. The officer at the Met who originally investigated Vishal's disappearance is today quoted as saying, there is clear evidence that something was happening at that guest house. If nothing has been done about it in retrospect, then Mr. Mahotra is right. Either the police disbelieved it, or they covered it up in one way or another. As part of their investigations into a Westminster paedophile ring, last week the Met launched Operation Midland, investigating allegations of homicide. Given this new information, Mr. Mahotra now believes there was a cover-up. I find it extremely scary. I mean for 30 odd years I've been waiting for the cops to come back to me and say if they found the, the, the person or whatever it is, but nothing has happened. First of all, it is important that I need to know, but more importantly, I think the public must be made aware of what has happened. Is now the time then, sir? Is Do you feel that the moment has come to reinvestigate this? Definitely. Sussex police have today told us in a statement that they would reinvestigate Vishal's murder based on new evidence. We've put them in touch with Mr. Marotra. There's got to be a clear, open public inquiry so that the public are given some confidence in the system. If the system is going to fail us, then whom do we trust?